Hello, I'm Adam Schulberg, Senior Audiologist at Cubex Audiology here in central London, and welcome to your weekly tip. Today I'd like to introduce Dr. Simon Wright-Singham, who is uh, one of our experts and an audiologist here at Cubex. In a previous tip, we've spoken about the impact of untreated hearing loss and how important it is for um, early intervention. Today I'd like to talk about prevention. Is there anything at all that can be done to reduce the likelihood of hearing loss? Absolutely. In the same way that we can make certain changes to reduce our risk of developing various diseases, we can actually reduce the risk of developing hearing loss by maintaining a good general health. So some diseases like diabetes and cardiovascular disease can actually increase the risk of developing hearing loss later on. One of the first things we can do is just eat well and keep fit, maintain good general health. That actually will reduce our risk of developing hearing loss. And the second thing that we can do is be aware of the situations we're in. If we're exposed to sustained levels of loud noise, this increases the risk of developing hearing loss as well. So you know that feeling that you get when you leave a noisy environment and you get ringing in your ears? That's actually a warning sign that you might have caused some damage to the ear, perhaps temporary, perhaps permanent. So minimising your exposure to loud noises is really important. If you're somebody who works in environments that are particularly noisy, for example, if you're a musician, you may want to think about looking into hearing protection. So it's really important to maintain good hearing health throughout life. If you'd like any more information, then please do check out our website, which is www www.cubex.co.uk and thank you very much Simon and thank you for watching this weekly tip.